welcome to day one of our Advent journey through the Bible. Today we're beginning right back at the very first book in the Bible called Genesis and we're going to be starting in chapter 3. So if you've got your own Bibles with you, you can follow along in those. All the words are going to be on the screen for you. So what does the Bible say? Genesis chapter 3 verses 8 to 15. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden. So they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Then the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He replied, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? The Lord God asked. Have you eaten from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What have you done? The serpent deceived me. She replied, That's why I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed, more than all animals, domestic and wild. You will crawl on your belly, groveling in the dust as long as you live. And I will cause hostility between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will crush your head and you will bruise his heel. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we've just read in the Bible. We're just three chapters into the first book in the Bible and already things are starting to go wrong in the world. Genesis means beginnings and after a great beginning, disaster strikes. But wait a minute, what has this story got to do with Advent? What has this got to do with Christmas? Well, right here in the midst of trouble and pain and sin, that's all the wrong things that we do. God is already making a plan, a plan to save us all. We're right at the beginning of our adventure, of our journey, but we need clues to see where we're going. Think about if you ever go for a walk. You need a plan, you need clues to keep you going in the right direction. Sometimes you need a map and you're following it, checking that you're going in the right direction checking that the river's on the right side of you, checking that the sun is in the right position, looking for signposts, things that are going to point you to where you want to go. Well, there's a clue in this chapter, tucked away right at the beginning of the Bible, about God's master plan to save us all. And that clue is Jesus. The serpent who tricked Adam and Eve was cursed by God. Give verses 14 and 15 another read. See where it says he will crush your head and bruise his heel? Well, sin has entered the world and God's got a plan. Jesus is coming to crush sin and death. Jesus will be bruised for us all when he dies on the cross. Whenever we read the Bible, it should make a difference to our lives. We need to respond to what we read. We need to act. Today's action is to look at your fingerprints. Your fingerprints are on everything that you touch. You can't see them, but they are there. When you touch the fridge for a snack, you leave your fingerprints behind. They're on the door handles that you touch. Your toys, your belongings, every cup that you pick up. Well, God's fingerprints are on everything that he has made too. God is always paying attention. He's always loving, always good. God sees where we go and what we do, the good and the bad. And God made a plan for Jesus to come and walk amongst us, to be with us and show us what he is like. If you get a chance later on today, I want you to find a washable pen and scribble on your thumb and then press your thumb onto a clean sheet of paper and make a visible fingerprint. Cut it out and hang it up somewhere. And every time you look at it, remember that God's fingerprints are right there for us to see all through the Bible. We just need to look for the clues. Let's finish with a prayer. 
Dear God, thank you so much for your promises. Thank you that even when things were in such a mess, you were already planning how to put things right through Jesus. As we start this Advent journey together, help us to discover just what an adventure it is to follow you. Amen. I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow as we continue with our Advent journey through the Bible. Goodbye.